Hello guys, it's uh, 145 Shadow Stalker and I'm gonna make you, and I'm gonna, sorry, uh, I'm gonna assist you in how to use Action Essentials to um, the full pack, of course, doesn't matter, but uh, basically Action Essentials 2, yeah, I'm not really gonna be going over that stuff, but uh, once you have it and you don't know how to use it, well, I'm here for the tips for you. Okay, so first of all, as always, you want to import your, um, what you call your video, you can import anything, I'm going to import mine, which is going to be, I think, uh, this, uh, you can just put in your timeline, I'm going to delete this track, you don't need to, but I'm going to do it, okay, so first thing you got to know, uh, you got to insert a video track, uh, you need one, you need like your actual video itself to be below your action essentials. So here you can see that I'm, yeah, you can, whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to make this a bit shorter. And uh, you can fiddle around with it, but I'm not here to show you fiddling around. Okay, so next you just import your action essentials. I'm gonna go to mine. Now first I'm gonna do muzzle flash. Now action essentials give heaps of effects. Uh, of course, uh, there's automatic fire, one, two, three, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna choose number three. You can choose any which one you like. I really don't give a rat's ass about it. Now you can see that all you gotta do is just drag it onto your timeline now instead of clicking uh, screen or add what you wanna do besides doing that because if you click one of uh, the using if you try to get rid of the black background using compositing mode uh, it's not really gonna look too good the thing the effect itself will look too bright um, you can use chroma key but it's for some reason it shows like black puffy stuff around it so yeah it's not really that good what you want to do is you right click properties in the bottom there media go to the media tab and you see alpha channel it's set to none you don't want that you want it to go to pre multiplied which is the second last in mine I think everyone's is on the second last you can go to pre multiplied click ok and you can see that I got rid of the black background and the effect stays the same it doesn't you know it's not too bright uh, next you can event pan crop it uh, you can modify it into any which way you want uh, I'm just gonna sort of yeah do whatever you want with it uh, yeah you can see there you can yeah so uh, that's basically like yeah but you can do any which one you want just remember that uh, next for and that's basically um, how you use the action essentials once you know how to do things like pre multiplying event pan cropping then you know how to do the rest. If you want to do blood effects, it's the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna use it in, uh, I guess, yeah, I'm just gonna click blood burst 1. I'll show you that it, it is basically the same thing. I'm just gonna drag this clip to me longer. Oh, insert video track. You can, whatever you want to do with it. You can see this is the blood. can just go pre-multiplied uh, again just click properties media alpha channel pre-multiplied okay and there you go you got rid of the black background I'm one for five shadow soccer and I'll be seeing you guys later